we just got this today. This is the Magpul DACA grid organizer. So this is for the Pelican Vault 730, which is a uh, double rifle case. So it comes just in this little box. Got shipped real quick. So this came out of SHOT Show. Looked very intriguing to me. Um, if you have the you know Pelican cases or something like that for traveling, uh, one of the problems is the foam, right? There was the old pick and, pick and pull or whatever they called that, where you just kind of kind of pluck out the little squares, kind of get it close to where you want it. Uh, the other option was to take the foam and cut it out. So you could cut your foam out specific to whatever gun you had, right? So I cut this out for my ARs. So if I'm going to take a class, I always like to bring two guns just in case there's something wrong with one of them or whatever. And so I always like to have two. So this is set up for these. But the problem with that was always, well, okay, so I have that in there. What if maybe you're going to go do a, uh, like a three gun competition or something and you want to put your shotgun in there with your rifle? Obviously that doesn't fit, right? So the choices you had before were obviously your soft cases, which are generally fine. But if you're flying, obviously you can't use those. Or depending on how you pack your truck, you might not want your stuff rattling around in the bed of your truck in a soft case, you know, just in case you don't want to bash it against stuff. So the option was to buy extra sets of foam like this. So I think I was able to get these last time I looked. This is for the Pelican 730. I want to say around $30 to $40 for a, a sheet of uh, foam like this. And then you fire up the old uh, turkey carbon knife. Yeah, that's on French. I don't want to look at that. There we go. So you get the old electric knife or however you cut it. I got that hot wire or whatever. So you cut out what you want in your foam. But again, it's very specific to whatever, you know, gun or guns you want in here. Or obviously it doesn't have to be guns, it could be anything. But with this new setup, this grid organizer, basically you take your foam out of the bottom. They have a new little piece of foam that goes in there. These base panels go on. And then the package for the 730 comes with eight of these. These are two cell um, units here. It also comes with eight of these which are threes. So this is basically, it's kind of similar to um, like 3D printing, where instead of taking a, uh, you know, a huge chunk of say aluminum or something and manufacturing it down into a small little piece of what you wanted, with this, you can add material exactly where you want it. So basically you just kind of go around and fill in with the blocks where you need the blocks to go to make a barrier for the gun so it won't move, right? So basically it's, it's almost like swaddling your little baby in here, right? You just... Kind of put it on in there and get them in the spot. Now it's not going to move. And you can throw one over here where the muzzle is going to be. That'll stop that. So basically you just kind of build wherever you want these little blocks to go. You put them in there. And that's going to stop your gun from moving around while you're traveling, right? 
So the nice thing about this is it's essentially endlessly configurable. So you could set it up for say your AR this weekend. You're gonna go do some shooting or take a class, whatever. You can throw this thing in here with a couple of ARs today. And then next weekend, if you wanna go do some shotgun shooting or you wanna take an AR and a shotgun, you can just you know, pluck all these out of here and wherever the guns you're taking kind of land in your case, like I said, you just basically just build around it. So you take this out of here, pop these guys out of here. Come on, baby. And then you can, like I said, just configure it to however you need it. Move these blocks around. You can get your gun in there however you want it. And then just kind of build your little system around whatever firearm you happen to be putting in the case at that time. So it's actually really cool, I think, because now with one system, you can basically organize this to fit pretty much any combination of guns that you can fit in the, you know, in the case. And one other little kind of added benefit is you also get a lot of negative space in here. So you could take, um, you know, you could take say, a, uh, well, I got a box of gloves here, it's a little big. But you could take a box of ammo for instance and here's just a box of staples, but, you know, you could throw like a box of ammo in here or something, you know. If it's a little small, you could always throw a towel in there. You could do whatever you want. So, like I said, this gives you a lot of negative space in here where you could put, the, you know, some towels, some shirts, some ammo, whatever else you might be bringing out to the range with you. It's, you know, not too crazy heavy because you don't want your case to be a thousand pounds but you have a lot of negative space in here we can throw stuff you can throw your slings in here stuff like that and like you said it's just it's just basically endlessly adjustable so you can do really whatever you want set it up however you want and then the difference is instead of having say five or ten or whatever number of these different foam inserts that are all cut to very specific guns, you can just change this to whatever you want. Um, if you're somebody who likes to fiddle around with stuff, you know, if you were to take this, this is a hollow sun and a magnifier. If you were to take that off and put on, say, like an LPVO, that wouldn't fit in that cutout foam anymore, right? Because it's just a little bit different size. So you'd have to redo the whole thing. Where with this, it doesn't matter because you're not limited to what you have already built. You can just build something different and make it completely unique to whatever you happen to be using at that time. So I got this. It's uh, middle of March 2023. So this came out, I believe, I'm, first time I saw it was at SHOT Show um, of 2023. So it's, it's relatively new. And I was able to pick it up for about $140, uh, which is, I think it's a pretty good price for what you're getting. Um, I'm not sure about the height on this. Like if you had uh, a lot of stuff on your rail, like if you have uh, um, like, a, you know, night, night vision stuff like the IR, like designators and all that sort of stuff all over your rail it might not you know fit your needs but for what I have it works perfectly fine and like I said for about $140 now I have one case that can do everything I ever need it to do and the other route with the individual pieces of foam I want to say the last time I bought a piece of foam like that that was cut for my uh, vault 730 it was about 30 or 40 dollars on eBay 
So if you're going to buy three or four of those to cut for different, uh, you know, arrangements of guns or whatever, basically you're about at that same price as buying this organizer. So I think it's a uh, affordable and really, really innovative way of uh, looking at this sort of stuff. And I just wanted to do a, a little video on it because I haven't, I saw some videos obviously at SHOT Show of it, but I haven't seen anybody actually do any configuring and, you know, kind of putting it in and getting it in their case and seeing how it actually works. So, uh, like I said, I think it's going to work really well for me. Um, I don't have a whole heck of a lot of crap hanging off of most of my guns. Um, they're relatively basic, but, uh, yeah, if you have a whole heck of a lot of stuff up there, you know, it might not be the right solution for you. You might have to have kind of custom fit stuff, but for the, the things I have for this sort of stuff, I think it's going to work out just fine.